morning. This is Rebecca Martinez from ArtsCalifornia.net. Today I am visiting with Tracy Owens. She is a self-taught, international, award-winning, published artist. Her, she works with mixed media. She's a mixed media madam. Tracy Owens. And we're, we are um, on location in Tracy's beautiful studio at 802 Lincoln, Lincoln Way. Way. Okay, great. Right. And you can see, uh, well, you will be able to see that it's filled with her beautiful work. And um, Tracy, I do have a question for you, because I already know the answer to this. <laughs> have you always been a painter? I don't know. I, artist, I think. Painter? I don't know. Artist, because I started out with um, just staging things at a very young age. I was constantly moving things around my mom's house. Planning. Yeah. So it was staging, anything creative, anything. And I think it wasn't until high school that I really started uh, realizing I could draw. And then I did my first uh, murals on the uh, high school wall uh -huh. at San Juan High School. I don't think they're there anymore. But, uh, is San Juan in near Sacramento? That's in Citrus Heights. Citrus Heights, okay. Yeah. So that's kind of how it began. But then, you know, that was the days when everyone said you can't make a living at drawing on walls. Uh huh. I'm like, you know, Disney did. <laughs> Schultz did. <laughs> you know, but so, yeah. So it was forever some kind of creativeness. Uh huh. So. And then did you have a little career kind of in, mixed in, the, in your life somewhere? Oh my gosh, well, so I, I started out, I was hired to be a window dresser, and I went through a bunch of jobs, and I finally got this job being a window dresser. Uh, I loved it, and I was getting promotions after promotions, and then they closed, uh. and I was like, whoa. So I got offered to do window dressing at Macy's in New York, and my wow. dad was uh, worked for the state, and he said, you're young, come work for the state, you know, it's good money, and I went, okay, Daddy. So 17 years of an auditor working for the state. Okay. Yeah, pretty funny. Um, I sucked at it, but okay. um, <laughs> I did really good <laughs> retirement parties, so, you know, that kept That's me there. That's great. Yeah. yeah, until I just couldn't do it anymore. I just said, I can't, I, I, I work twice as hard to do half the work that everyone else because my brain just didn't think like uh -huh. that. And I was constantly trying to get them to paint Let's paint murals on the wall instead of the gray walls to give everybody's you know mood better. Yeah, that would have been groundbreaking. It would yeah, have been because have we been. were in the old cannery. Well, we, at first we were in the old cannery over there, you know, off of what was that S Street? Was uh huh. That? And it was just gray walls and dead. And I thought, God, the morale would go up or something. Something. Better. Yeah, yeah. So uh, behind us, I see we have something you're currently working on. Yeah, this is my new series. Um, yeah, uh, Beside Myself, new series coming up. Oh, and so it's part of the series also? This, these are the first two. This is the first one I started and then this one, yeah. So, you know, that kind of that, that uh, bold side you have that you look right into the camera and, uh -huh. and uh -huh. you're strong and you're, you know, ready to take on the world and then the other side that goes, get me away from that camera. So kind of... I, I have really seen the other side. I see in you mostly when you're in here your bold I am, your bold side. Yeah. Which and I love. I think everyone has that other side. I don't know if you know and interpret that that more calmer side or that, that more shyer side in however way you want, you know. Uh huh. Mine comes out in certain things but Uh huh. Yeah. So how do you find your inspiration? Oh my God. You know what? I'm like one piece of metal away from being a hoarder. I swear, because really? everything I look at, I see art. I remember when they were building the Michaels down the road there, uh -huh. um, and they had the great big canister out there with the pile of junk that they were throwing in. I kept driving by and going, and my daughter was like, oh my gosh, mom, what are you? And I just saw art in all of it. So yeah. it's it's kind of a, what is it, a curse and a blessing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. But, but uh, I know that you, I have seen your pieces that have metal worked into them, but right now I'm not 
seeing any? Are you on a hiatus from the mm. last? No, I did. I just uh, did some things at Monkey Cat, and they're oh, okay. all metal and old wood from hundred year old wood from there. So, uh -huh. you know, I go back and forth. I wish I could. I'm constantly trying to figure out a way to add metal to my paintings. Uh, I don't know. You know. Sometimes I go, oh, yeah, I got it, and then sometimes I go, no, I just want to, uh -huh. I just want to uh -huh. do mixed media in the painterly way. So it just depends what mood I'm in. I don't know. Yeah, we all have our thing. I just did my first sculpture, and I added some of the metal. Ooh. Back. Loved it. Where, where is the sculpture? It's right there. Right ah, here. Ah, okay. We'll have to get a look at that. You'll have to check it out. It's my very first sculpture, yeah. so I love her, and I just wanted to do a sculpture that looked like how I paint. Uh-huh. So. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's okay. fun. Super yeah. fun. So, so, yeah, everything. Everything inspires me. So, I, I know that you had um, shows at the Monkey Cat, which is the lovely restaurant right across the street from your studio. And I know that during the COVID, they had to redecorate the whole inside of their um, place. And it looks amazing. Thank you. It looks that was really fun. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, sometimes you have little shows over there, little private sales? Um, well, at the end of the year, every year, well, the last two years, I should say, um, all my things are uh, originals. So, and people kept asking me, you know, do you do prints? And I don't do prints. I'm a mixed media artist, so it's super hard. I have not found a way to, to relate that uh -huh. to a copy. Uh -huh. But people kept asking, so I, once a month, I do either one or two drawings, original okay. drawings, okay. and then at the end of the year, I only make five prints of those drawings, and I do a little sale. So it's a limited edition. It's totally limited edition, and um, I'm super picky about them, but they turned out really well. And that just, you know, lets some people who can't afford to buy you know, $4,000 paintings uh -huh. to get a little glimpse of my... Is that about what your paintings... It depends, yeah, you know... Uh, Anywhere from, I don't know, I, I paint kind of big. I, yeah. you know, I started out as a muralist, so going to a real small canvas and small brushes is super hard for me, I, and I'm not that patient. Uh -huh. So, um, uh -huh. and I'm not that, you know, I'm not that skilled. I'm more skilled like this. You know. The big movements. The big movements. Which this little stuff. Whoa. You can't fake the big movements. You have to feel them. You do have yeah. to feel them, but you can't fake those little ones either. I mean, no. I see people with those little brushes and one hair. So oh, amazing. God. That's so yeah. amazing. But that's just, yeah, I'm not that. I'm not so, so you have a pretty good following. You have a good do clientele. How, how long has it taken you to build up that clientele? God, I don't know. You know, people say, how long does it take you to paint that? How long does it take you to paint that? And I say, you know, 40 years. <laughs> okay, and so yeah, it's been a gradual it's, process. Yeah, yeah, you know, when I first, because I, I had no clue what I was going to do, and I quit the state, which, you know, making a lot of money, and I just went in and said, and they said, you know, what took you so long? Uh -huh. But, and then I was like, okay, what am I going to do? And so that was right when, um, if you remember Sean at yes. the, you know, uh -huh. the arts building. Yeah. I went in there and I met her and she said, hey, we're going to have a, this box show. Oh, the box show. Was the so box fun. show. So I went, yeah. okay, I want to do that. So I built this big gal. Uh -huh. And do you remember her? With her skirt. You took the box and used it. No, the, not that. No, no, no the very one. first okay. one was just this wooden kind of like my, uh, wherever my statue is me I kind of did like that and I put her on wheels and she had this box and the sugar plant fairies bought it uh -huh. and wheeled it around to all their events so oh, that's, that's cool. kind of I got kind of known there and then I they had the first art walk and so across the street I joined it but I thought you know I don't want to just sit there and talk about myself so I set up a big canvas uh -huh. and let everyone come paint with me and I was the busiest one that night yeah and then they just so happened to be uh, getting someone in the arts building, another artist and resident. So I went and interviewed. You had to be voted in unanimously. Right. And so I went in and applied, which that day I broke my glasses, so I had to tape my glasses up. And <laughs> I went in and I said, this is just the artistic side of me. And, you know, and I put funky, I think, hot pink tape on. Yeah. Anyway, I got voted in, and that's kind of how it started. And I thought, well, okay, now what am I going to do with that? So uh -huh. I started teaching, and... 
I think the teaching really helps too. It yeah. did. It got you know, and I had started a homeschooling thing too, so I had oh. you know a teacher. I did the art, and then another teacher did the stuff. I didn't want the math, but uh-huh. stuff. But it was a, you know all we put it all together, and um, I kind of got known for that because I started doing the art walk. Yeah. The studios yeah. tour and. And you're pretty active in social, with your social media. I am, and I try to, um, not as, because I was in a couple galleries in Laguna Beach, and they are, you have to post every day, you have to do, you know, so. When do you do your artwork? You know what, it's really, once you get used to it, every morning I pour a cup of coffee, took a picture of something, or video myself doing something, post it. And I love Instagram because you can just automatically make it go to Facebook. So right. do it all at once and boom, right. you're done. And I went yeah. on with my day. So it's not that big a deal now. And it's so important. I've gotten so many sales off of, you know, that's really important. To, yeah. You know. Okay. That is a good point. Yeah. Be active. So are we going to um, watch a short demo? Are you going to work on your, are you prepared to work on this? I can do something if you want to, want me to throw some paint around or. Yeah, okay. I'm going to move out of the way here. Or like my, there was a similarity. Yeah, yeah. it's like his guitar structure ju- and his songs. You know, I just related to a song so well. So um, we do that performance art. One of my favorite things to do. It's really fun. Of course, now we've had a few. Uh, ge- we have a few scheduled, but right. The world has changed now. So. Yeah. Right. But we are gonna try and get together and do it uh, live Facebook. Okay. So. Good. Good. So, so remind me again what your uh, website URL is. I am on tracyowens.com. That's T-R-A-C-I-O-W-E-N-S. Yes. Uh-huh. And then on Instagram, I think it's Tracy underscore Owens. Okay. And uh, then you can find me on Facebook as well. Okay. T-R-A-C-I. Dang, T-R-A-C-I. you're good at those hands. You know, the really short strokes I find and just start. You can see I don't wash my brush much. I don't um, uh, overthink anything. I just start going in uh-huh. and I shape it from there. You know? Yeah, it's very rich. And then it'll change. I'll come back and I can see this handy as we work on. Uh-huh. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> 